Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my tutorial video. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how exactly to uh, did I create this awesome ice kind of a text effect, ice crystal kind of a text effect. And this is the thing that we are gonna be creating. And once we have created this, guys, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do some color changes. If you just click this, you can see that the blue color kicks in and my icicles or these things popping out really look, you know, like uh, frigid ice. So uh this is the exact effect that we are going to be creating guys right we are right here in adobe photoshop so guys uh but yeah guys uh one note about this tutorial is that um you need to have this background layer uh in order to create this effect okay this effect cannot be uh created without this background layer so the link the link to create this background layer guys is going to be in the description and frankly guys uh, i'm going to tell you one thing this image uh, is not mine, right? I have downloaded it from net. I've got a pretty uh, high resolution picture. So I'm going to upload it just for you guys, right? So you guys can exper uh, experiment and follow along for practicing this tutorial also, okay? So the link is, uh, is going to be in the description. Download it put, it, it in, put it in Adobe Photoshop, and let's get started. So I'm going to get this thing in. May I have Photoshop? Uh, click OK. Duplicate the mask. Keep uh, original copy always with you guys. Uh, create a text or, or grab the text tool guys click somewhere over here and just write your name or if you're gonna create it for somebody else then you can write somebody else's name awesome select the selection tool and make sure guys that the text uh, the color of the text is set at white all right uh, go to this text layer guys click on the text name or the text layers name and click on this option which says convert to smart object click on it and awesome your text now uh, has been converted in, converted it into smart object the reason guys that you are doing is doing this guys because we like to keep or we would like to keep all our text um, e e editable meaning that you don't have to apply or create this text again uh, this text effect again and again if you are trying to create it for somebody okay you can just open your psd file and replace the name so once that's done guys go to image go to image rotation and go to 90 degree clockwise that's done that's good guys go to filter and make sure guys that your text layer is selected go to filter stylize and go to win and and guys uh, i'm pretty much using the basic setting all right the default settings the method is at win and the direction is from the right and click ok and guys uh, I, I really don't like this smart filters mask coming up so i'm going to delete it just do a right click and delete the filter mask it's, it's not going to affect your uh, effect or anything Okay, if you want to keep it, keep it, but I, I really don't like it. Um, and guys, the smart filter we are really trying to apply uh, is because we want those icicles sticking out of the text. So, you know, this one smart filter is not going to do anything. We need to again and again apply this wind smart filter. So, go to filter and here is going to be the last uh, filter that you had applied to your text. So, just click on it. Click OK. And I'm going to quickly use Control F, Enter, Control F, Enter. And you can see guys i have applied four winds if, if you're good with the three wind effect you can see that the eye cycles are kind of popping out now but i, I really like to use my four wind you know for applying a good effect now guys what will happen is if you try to tilt your image okay in a horizontal manner all right what's going to happen is that actually let me show you what's going to happen image rotation and 90 degree counterclockwise and now you can see guys that all the effects that we had applied are already going from uh, right to left of from yeah from right to left so this is not what we want guys i'm going to press ctrl z for undo and guys what we are going to do is we are going to put this smart object all right we remember guys we converted the thing to smart object we're going to put this smart object and just to preserve the effect guys we are going to put it into another smart object so do a right click and go to convert to smart object once again and you can see guys that all your effects have been crushed down don't worry guys it is still editable right uh go to uh, go to image go to image rotation and do 90 degree counterclockwise for getting this um, thing back awesome so now you can see guys that the uh, that we already had those things popping up from our text and it looks good guys now select a text layer guys go to fx and go to blending options so that we can start uh, you know applying some uh, fx so keep this thing somewhere on the right hand side to see some part of your text go to bevel and emboss I use this layer style almost in all my text effects, alright? It's a very awesome thing, guys. Uh, go to counter and okay, leave it at that. Uh, texture, guys, we definitely want to apply texture. 
uh, go to pattern guys right click on this drop down go to this wheel kind of an icon and uh, yeah uh, you of course have to click on it uh, uh, in the below part guys there are going to be different kind of libraries of patterns specifically guys go to this one which says patterns and click on it click ok since I already have done it and guys uh, from all the options that you have uh, that are available to you now click on the one which says molecular alright this one yeah, awesome looks good click double click and guys uh, if you guys you know you guys will be like PS style we really cannot see what you're coming up with you know we really cannot see that text effect but trust me guys you know um, just bear with me and in the end we will definitely will be having that text effect uh, in the texture part of the bevel and emboss people uh, the scale just scale it up to 165 depth reduce it all the way down to uh, somewhere like say 10 yeah I think 10 is pretty good yeah I think 10 is good and then guys uh, move on to another layer style go to inner shadow because guys I always like to keep a good you know nice border around my text effect but this time if I go to stroke you'll see that we really cannot apply stroke effect because you can see guys that that filter like basically guys it's, it's really not looking good so the stroke effect or the stroke layer style is not advisable go to inner shadow uh, opacity all the way to 100 distance just up a little bit and guys really you need to come up with your own things because if you try to copy me guys it's really not going to look that good in inner shadow guys you can you know play with different parameters right now i'm going to take my choke all the way to 90 and guys don't worry guys i can i know i can understand this is not looking like that effect that i've created the distance i'm going to reduce it just a little bit and guys firstly we will try to uh, create that um, create our text effect so go to blending options custom right right over here on the very top of all the layer styles there's going to be a part which says advanced blending and the fill opacity guys take it all the way to zero just click zero and you'll see that we are you know that we still have a good bevel and emboss applied but we can still you know we, we can see the background so it looks pretty awesome guys come again guys to bevel and emboss in this glass counter guys just click on it and select the counter which says ring or, or this one okay uh, three three six seven eight the eighth one you can see we already have some good effects coming guys on our text effect but we just need to we get a little bit more the size guys of this is to be increased you can see guys that we are really coming up with something really good right now in the effect but we still need to apply quite some things um soften and everything guys yeah the depth guys try to increase it according to uh, the effect that you are having right now over there uh inner glow inner glow guys is kind of good to be applied like say if you're doing this you know, it really is kind of gives your text effect a life feeling and you know it kind of separates it from the background because guys in this effect we do not want to, uh, we do not want our text to blend with the background we really want it to come up you know or come uh, you know like stick out of the background so you can use this layer style in a glow um, just change the color to white or something like an aqua color yeah actually a white and aqua color would look better guys instead of a white so click ok now awesome and then guys you can go to outer glow and outer glow is really important because you know we can really have the outer glow uh, uh, on these icicles which are over here and you can change it to something like an, an aqua color once again guys something like this and actually guys uh, if you go out of your uh, out of this color picker you can see that we have this eyedropper tool just click somewhere on the uh, on the background guys wait a sec wait a sec I'm gonna just go to select oh, apply I'm gonna pull it out yeah and I'm gonna go to outer glow once again I'm gonna come back to the color picker and click OK, and you'll see that the effect has been applied. Uh, you can play with the spread and size, but that I you know, guys. Uh, frankly speaking, guys, you can really go ahead and do all sorts of weird things because you know, uh, really, when I also was working on this effect, I also did all sorts of weird things to come up with this effect. And you know, really, guys, now I can make a video tutorial probably. So go ahead, go ahead, guys. Okay, do all sorts of weird things. Uh, drop shadow guys is advisable because it really gives your uh, text you know and up or brings it out of the background so that is good we need that change the black color guys to an aqua color aqua you know something like a blue aqua color that looks good and you can use the background color once again click ok now you can click on the spread you can see guys that right now you cannot see anything because 
we we already have taken a good um, color from the background. So and there you have it, guys. Click OK. And there you have it, guys. You have created a very nice ice crystal kind of an effect. Uh, ice crystal kind of a text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you guys want to edit it, okay, or meaning if you want to change the name or the text that you have written, all you need to do is, guys, it's very, very going to be easy. Just go to the text effect, do a double click on the, um, you know, on this part where, you know, on the, what do you say, on this thumbnail, yes, on this thumbnail, just do a little click, click, okay. It's going to go ahead and open it out into a new tab, do a double click on that too. Because we we need to get down to this this part, you know, that original text effect. Click that, uh, select that uh, the, the text tool. Click somewhere, guys, and you can just change it. So from PSL, I'm gonna change it to ice, and I cannot see anything. Crystal. Okay, if this thing is gonna go out a little bit, so I'm gonna change it to ice FX. Right. Click. Okay. Close on the tab. So, uh, you want to change these changes to PSB? Do a yes. You want to change the uh, yeah, click uh, close that one too. It's gonna ask you want to change the like you want to make some changes to the TSL PSB. Do a yes and take a look at this. Uh, the TSL just went to ice effects. So pretty good effect, guys. All right. At, at least I'm proud of it. Go ahead, guys. Uh, download this. Download this effect. Uh, as in download the background. Uh, experiment with this effect, guys, as much as you can. We're coming up something really original and something you know of your own. And thank you for watching this video guys. Please subscribe me for more tutorials. And thank you. That's it. Thank you. Yeah.